Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today we're going to talk about birth order, how it affects us basically is what it's, uh, and this is the paper that I have hanging on my refrigerator all the time that the kids look at. And I have, um, I want to sort of read what's on there because I don't want to get it wrong or, or go through the list is what I'll do. Okay, uh, we're going to start with the firstborn. Now you could be the firstborn even if you're a secondborn or even if you're a third or fourth or fifth. Depending on, now a firstborn is not necessarily the first person born in your house, but it most of the time is. But if there is a five year gap between you and the next child, and or if you are a boy and a girl is born after you, she's a firstborn, or if you're a girl and a boy is born after you, then that is a firstborn also, even though it's the second child. And you can be <clears throat> more than one. You can be like the first and you can be like a middle child because maybe there's other, chil other children in the family and you're not the last one, you're not the youngest because then you would be the youngest if you're the last one. But anyways, for the firstborn, you are typically a natural leader. Now, some of these will not resonate with you because I have a firstborn that is not a natural leader. He is a, more of a follower. But I have a, my daughter who is second born, which is really a first born because she's the first girl. She is a natural leader. High achiever. Um, mm. the, Jessica would be Michael. Michael's, Michael's a high so achiever too. Pretty high yeah. achiever. High yeah. achiever. Okay. Organized. Some people are organized in a real organized way and other people have their own organizational skills that they use, their own organizing way. And it could look very confusing to somebody else, but they understand exactly what they've got going on. So, are you organized? On time. A firstborn wants to be on time or ahead of time. They don't like being late. It makes them very nervous when they're late or going to be late. They like to be on time. If, it, if your appointment, especially if your appointment is supposed to be a certain time or you're supposed to be somewhere at a certain time, they want to be there at that time or sooner. Know-it-alls, well, a lot of them are know-it-alls. I'm not a know-it-all. I like to learn. <laughs> at least I don't think I'm a know-it-all. A know-it-all is somebody that no matter what you say, they have done it, they've been there, They've got, and they, it's like, my goodness, they know everything that you're trying, you know, there's nothing that they seem to not know. Those are the know-it-alls. And the bossy, well, I, I'm pretty bossy. I am bossy. I like things done my way, and it's got to be um, done right, because I'm a perfectionist in a sense. And, um, uh, let's see. I'm responsible, energetic. Are you energetic? That's another one trait. Logical. Do you think logically? I don't know if I do or don't. Mm. Mm. Sometimes. Sometimes. Not. Mostly yeah. not. Yeah. Okay, that's for the firstborn. But you could be some of those if you're in the other categories, like a middle or last or only. Um, Flex, the middle child is flexible. Now you could be flexible in a first person, firstborn too, but mm, it, it means that you're you'll give and take. But see, the the thing that's hard is I am both. I am a firstborn and a middle child, so I I see myself in this. So you'll have to I'll have to stop trying to boss you around <laughs> and insist that you must see yourself in these things too because you may not. Okay, middle childs are flexible. They're, they can be rebellious, easygoing, social, peacemakers, diplomatic, independent, a negotiator, secretive, and may feel like life is unfair and they're competitive. Now a lot of these I see in myself and then there's a few that don't resonate at all. Okay, now if you're the last child, which is the youngest child, 
you're a risk taker. A lot of times you don't think before you do. You just think. You don't think. You just do. Um, you're charming. You think everybody loves you. You're cute. <laughs> Outgoing. A hard worker. Creative. Self-centered. Financially irresponsible. Competitive. Sensitive. Bored easily. And secretive. That is for the, if you're the youngest, you could have some of those characteristics. Now, if you're an only child, now this one, if you're an only child, chances are you relate better with, with adults than you do children of your age. You'll relate better with people that are older than you because you've spent all your time with older people doting on you and you don't have usually any playmates you're just you're all by yourself so you're um, you have good self-control imagination play role because you have uh, how many of these kids have pretend friends or imaginary friends as they would call them because they they're good at imagining and the play role thing so they they're good at that but they're a leader they, they're more mature because they spend more time with adults, so they are mature. Um, they get illusions that they can make things work their way. They think everything's going to go their way, whether it's going to or not. It's going to go my way because I say it's going to go my way. Um, they're dependable, mm, I suppose. Overambitious, sometimes. Demanding all the time, unforgiving, and a perfectionist. Well, that's the list that I have. Now, I was in my mind, I'm thinking of my own children as I'm doing some of these. Now, my um, youngest child, she can be very demanding, very delusional. She thinks the world revolves around her at times. And um, the... Um, Feeling like the world is unfair. I think everybody has felt that Even though that's for the middle child now if you're a parent it makes it even harder to have these to, to um, Parent the children if you are of this like like I'm an only child pretend I'm an only child at the moment and what I feel is you should develop really fast because I could do everything so fast because I was an only child. And the reason that I could do everything so good is parents doted on me and they pushed me to succeed and I did well because I was potty trained early and I could walk early because what else did they have to do but work with me? So I did that. So that's, that's what you think the parent will think that you should potty train faster. You should walk sooner. You should do everything quicker. And so they try to um, push your development into the developmental stages quicker, even though they're not, not going to with, not with all children. Maybe if you're an only child, you might. And um, <clears throat> uh, they expect everything to stay orderly. It, because when an only child leaves the room, if they have toys there, and their soldiers standing up when they come back their soldiers are still standing up or their blocks are still there where they left them everything is right where you left it because there's not a younger sibling or somebody coming in and destroying it or taking it or ruining it so they think that a house that is perfectly normal or just a regular house they may think it's messy because things are not in their place and if, if you pick up something and say, oh, this is nice, they don't like you touching their stuff. They, um, and if you put it back, it's not quite in the right place, so they have to move it just so. So that's, that's what an only child parent would be like. You'd, they're, they're really, oh, they're, they would be tough, I think, to have as a parent. I think, I don't know. Um, now, if you're the oldest born, 
you don't know how to let go. You're you're one of these controlling parents. You're like a helicopter mom or dad, and I must be because, and you're really overprotective because when now I'm going to put Emily in this. When Emily was 13, and I wouldn't let her cross the street yet because I was afraid of um, that she wouldn't pay attention because she was so carefree and didn't care. She was one of those young ones that the world will watch out for me rather than me watch out for the world kind of personality. And so I was one of those overprotective moms that just wasn't going to let her cross the street because I didn't trust her ability to do it. And that's something that we have to learn to do as an older or firstborn kind of parent, you got to learn to let go and let them do and step back and not be checking to make sure everything's done. Mm, I do that too. And you can't be a supervisor constantly and hold on too long. Now, if you're a second born, this is going to be a long video, I have a feeling. <laughs> um, if you're second born and, and you're a parent, um, you may have been mischievous and think it's fun to be mischievous and you'd be the one that would tell the child that sure question the teacher why do you want me to do this what do you think i should and but don't question me and when it comes back on me you're not going to like it as much because now they're using their um their mischievous ways on you or what i don't know what i want to say they turn the question on the parents Okay, they're like, they are little monsters, and they think that they're teaching uh, teaching them to be free, th you have to teach them to be free thinkers and independent, not little monsters. <laughs> oh gosh, I've screwed that one up big time, messed it up. Mm -hmm. Oh well, you oh. got it. It's, I'm not a second, I'm not, I'm not the second born. I, I am a first born, well I am a second born, sort of, I'm a middle child. Okay, and middle, this is middle, that was second born. <laughs> I, I'm, whew. Okay, this is middle child. You want to be like, liked by your children. You don't like it when your children don't like you. That's sort of true. I do like to be liked by them. I don't like it when people don't like me. It's very upsetting. In fact, you don't even want to go to bed when you think you've upset somebody because you need to have everybody like you and you need everything to be right. Um... What was I going to say? You want everybody to be happy, 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 too. <laughs> and give group hugs and do all that good stuff. Okay. Um, and if it was, if it was, um, I don't even have all of this here because I don't remember what I was going to, I was going to talk about going to bed. Like if you're the oldest child, like the firstborn, you're going to just say, go to bed. Like enough is enough. Don't mess around. Just go to bed. Um, and then there's others that will say, but gee, I don't want to like second born, second, um, born would say, I don't want to. And you go, well, but you have to, and try to get them to go. Um, and the youngest one would be, do I have to go to bed now? I don't want to go to bed. No, you can play for a little longer <laughs> instead of sending them to bed. Um. Only children are perfectionists, and they they um. And you don't want to ask them to be more social because they're not they're they're happy to be by themselves. They're not unhappy to they're not lonely. They like being alone, and um. So they and if they choose friends, they're going to choose real quiet friends. They're not going to choose the rambunctious one because the quiet ones won't ruin their toys. Where the rambunctious one, they'll make a big mess and then I'll have everything everywhere and it will drive them absolutely crazy. And oldest children, you don't want them to be bullies. You you don't want to, like a lot of people will have their older child do the babysitting and take charge of the children. You don't want to do that because then they become bullies. You want them to be leaders, not bullies. And so um, you may suggest that you, you might say to them, I'd like the table set. And if you can't get the table set, don't. Um, then you come tell me. But don't take it upon yourself to make anybody do it. 
Because, like, if I say I went in and I said, Jim, is that Jim? If I told them that I want you to tell Jim to set the table, then what are you going to do? You're pro I'm probably going to bully Jim. <laughs> I don't want to bully him. So you just say, have, make sure the table gets set or have set the table. And then you, he, then I could say, gee, Jim, would you set the table? And if he doesn't want to set the table, then you go back and you say, um, tell your mom or dad and say, Jim wouldn't set the table. So now what? And so let them be the boss, not you, so that you don't bully. You don't want them to be a bully. And you want your um, middle child to be a free thinker. And not oppositional. You don't want them to be stubborn and oppositional. You want them to be a free thinker. And um, let's see, the youngest one. Let's see, you gotta, they have to teach them empathy because they think of themselves only. They don't think of anybody else. And if you get hurt, they don't, they don't care. It's, it's, it's all right, it's not me. So that's, that's a lot of the um, personalities of, of different children and different people and different teachings. I hope I made it clear. <laughs> I didn't make it very clear, I'm sure. But you can replay this several times if you want to catch what I said. But um, this page, this is the paper that I liked the best where it showed the first middle, last, and only. Um, if you're a twin, oh, I should cover that too. And if you're a twin, they can, they, if you're a fraternal twin, chances are there'll be a dominant one and a not less dominant one. And if you're a identical twin, then it doesn't matter who was born first because your your positions will change. You can interchange. You can be you can be the leader and then you could be the follower and you could be the follower and then you could be the leader. You could it it goes back and forth. Also, if you have a firstborn that is not a leader, that position is open. It's like a job. And so the second born maybe would be the more of a leader and take that first per, first um position rather than the second born first born would take the first born's position because the um first born's not stepping up to the plate and so that could happen so if it's got a job opening and you want to slide into it you slide into it and you might have you might actually be dual you might be the first yeah, like the leader and you might be the middle I don't think you'd be the end <laughs> I don't know you yeah. can be the end if, if there's say there's so many years between if there's too many years then you could be the baby and like if there was seven or more years now you're the firstborn and you're a baby and you're also Middle. An only child. You're an only middle. child and a middle. You're all of them. So you could be. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You could, could be. Have any and all. Any. Any all. of these personalities or or any of these things. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. I. Uh, <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> I'm done. Bye.